In this video, we are going to go through the basics of Inventor HSM turning. We're going to use this quick release for the BAC Mono race car steering wheel. And I'm just going to roll back here so we just get the revolved body of our turning part. So I'm going to navigate over to the cam tab and select setup. And the easiest thing here is just to work from the top and down. So first we're going to select turning from the drop down and then we can select our work coordinate system. You can see that we have the 3D gnomon in the graphics area indicating our axis direction and the zero zero location. So I'm going to flip the Z axis and you can see that Inventor HSM is aware of our 3D model on the screen and is now displaying what I want to be the front of my model. If we were working in an assembly, we would have to indicate which part to be machined here. Now the second tab is our stock and you will see that there's a lot of great options and the explanation appear automatically. But let us just leave the stock selection on fixed size cylinder and you will see that I can adjust the diameter and the length right here. I'm going to switch my model position to offset from front and add some extra stock in the back so we can have something to hold on to and also be able to part off the part. The last tab is just giving you the option to add some information to your posted code and we'll skip that here. I'm going to select face as our first operation on the cam toolbar and if you are already familiar with the milling portion of Inventor HSM everything will look very familiar. I'm going to select tool to access our tool library and in here we have the long list of our different libraries but I'll start by showing you the new tool function. The first tab is standard tool information. Now the second tab is our insert and you will see that we have a great selections in here. The units can be controlled by your inventor template but of course you have the option to switch things around right in here. Sizes, radiuses and shapes all is in here. Now I'm pretty happy what I got here and the holder looks fine so I'm going to hit OK and select and because we selected our work coordinate system and we are inside a 3D environment as inventor we do not need to select any geometry because the software knows where the front face is. So I'm just going to select OK and we have created our first tool path. You will now see that we are populating a same type of feature tree as we do inside of Inventor. For our next operation, let me just go to the front view and select Profiling Toolpath. I'm going to use the same tool as we did on the facing operation, but let me go over to the Geometry tab and turn on Confinement. This will let me add a distance to the back of our profiling cut making sure we have a clean cut for our parting operation. Then hit OK and we now have our profile cut. Notice by default allow grooving is checked on profiling so our tool is allowed to clean up areas it can reach dependent on the tool and the tool holder specified. Now let's select the grooving operation. And for tool selection, I'm going to navigate to the sample turning tool library that comes with Inventor HSM and select one of the three grooving tools. I'm also going to turn on confinement and actually select on the geometry the area for machining. This can be a face or as here I'm selecting edges. Because I had allowed grooving on the profile operation, I might as well turn on rest machining. So I only machine the areas that needs to. We now have a nice grooving operation that is removing all the remaining stock within our containment boundary. Lastly, let's select parting. I'm going to use the same tool I did for the grooving operation and just as Inventor HSM was smart enough to know where the front was on our facing operation, it also knows where the back is for the parting. So just hit OK. 
And this is the four operations we need for this part. We can now go ahead and simulate our toolpath. It is always nice to see on the computer what's going to happen before seeing it on the machine. We can hit the play button and we will see our facing operation, followed by our profile, and we can turn on stock display. One of my favorite is to show transparent so we can actually see the part in relation to the stock. And we can of course switch back and forth to our solid stock. And pretty happy with the result, we can actually go ahead and post the actual G code. Notice that there is a filter selection for what type of post you are looking for. We can then select post and our post shows up in our Inventor HSM editor. I hope this video on Inventor HSM turning gives you the confidence to start programming your first parts with Autodesk's Inventor HSM. In future videos we will dive deeper into specific aspects of our turning solution.